we have ourselves a duck. Quack, quack. There's a lot of hiding spots there and like kind of freaks me out sometimes like what if the killer's hiding somewhere? Kind of rustic modern or maybe some mid-century. Hi friend, today we're gonna have some fun because I have a large unhaul, not unhaul, haul video slash unboxing of a whole bunch of Amazon home decor pieces, things that are, I think are beautiful that I think you should be on the lookout for. Masa. So this is one of the books that I ordered. So this is a really good kind of maybe recipe book or coffee table book or just like a styling book. If you're not familiar with Masa, this is by Jorge Gavidia, by the way. Masa is sort of this Mexican, or I don't know if it's strictly Mexican, but it's, um, I'm Mexican. That's how I know it basically as corn-based like flour, which is used for tortillas, um, tamales, and a whole bunch of other delicious things. Oh, empanadas. So this book is all about kind of like uh, recipes and kind of just information about masa, what can be made from it, the different types and all that. Kind of just like a fun, you know, interest book, um, which I think would be really good. I also love the fact that it's like black and like, it's like beige color, aesthetic for styling too, you know? You know, you know, <laughs> there's no particular order here. Oh, by the way, um, so this video is not sponsored by Amazon or anything, but I am working with them over on my Amazon storefront to kind of create some content. So definitely go check out my storefront. I'll link it below. I'm going to be doing some like styling and things like that, which I'll include maybe some clips here, some styling. Yes, yes, this is something that has been going viral. I feel like over on TikTok or on Instagram, this is the beloved marble tray so this is uh, what is the type of marble what is this? it's not rose marble i forget the name of it let me see Hold i can't find it i know it's not galaxy marble because that's like a different kind this one has a little bit of purple in it this type of marble is so beautiful i feel like we've all seen this lately in like backsplashes and kitchen i mean marble is a timeless it's stone but it's i feel like it's something that's trending right now and you know what it can be a little pricey <laughs> to replace whole countertops and sometimes a little decorative accent like this, which I feel like is kind of rare to find for something small in this type of marble. What kind of unwrapper are you? Do you like take your time and meticulously unwrap things or do you just like rip through it? I kind of like take my time. I love, love dried florals and I ordered these. So these are actually real dried, um, not pine cones. I don't know what these are called but I think they're pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna make an arrangement or something with this. Something natural like this, especially during like the winter months, I think looks really beautiful and very organic, you know? So that's that. So got a throw blanket for the sofa. I feel like it's looking a little, the color's looking a little off on the camera, but this feels so soft. This is a really nice, Kind of like a winter, autumn throw blanket for those chilly nights. I like to like sit back at night and like, I don't really watch TV, but if I do, you know, just put a little throw blanket on there. That one's heavy as I ordered a new dinnerware set. So I currently have one from Fable, which I really love, but I was also looking for like a black dinnerware set. Sometimes I kind of want to create like a moody tablescape. And I feel like this one is one that's pretty popular on Amazon. Um, so this comes with the set. So this is the mug, which I like. I love these plates. So they're like modern, clean, minimal matte black which i feel like makes any food look delicious like even if it's like frozen food put this on there and it looks like a really nice restaurant meal um so i can't wait to use these i gotta go put them in the dishwasher so like they sell the set um for like four people or eight so it comes with the dinner plate salad mugs and this bowl simple clean lines which i love also is it just me but when you order takeout do you take things out of the takeout box and put them on your plates because I like to do that. It feels like you're at the restaurant, but chilling at home, you know? That's my kind of vibe. I'm such a homebody, like I'd rather stay home. Like, like leave me alone, I'll stay home. <laughs> I got another box. So I also got this. Oh, look at this. Isn't this, it has sort of this like cracked look, this ceramic vase. Kind of has a little bit of a patina look, which I think makes it more interesting and oh, this is so beautiful. It was actually a pretty good price too. I think it was like, I can't remember, but I should probably start like a vase uh, recovery group because I have a vase problem. Some more 
branches. Now, some people ask me where I get my branches and I mean, honestly, I get them from outside. Um, but I know that some people might not have like good branches around or things like that. So sometimes you just rather order the, the, the faux ones online, the fake ones. And these looked kind of promising from what I saw. These are bendable and I feel like these could definitely look realistic. So I'm gonna do some styling with this. I love just dried branches, like branches with no leaves. I think that looks really cool. Now this is baby's breath. And sort of this like maroon color, which, so the thing about like fake flowers and stuff is you gotta like bend them to make it look realistic. Like not look so perfect, you know? Cause that's how nature is. And that's, oh, you know what? Hold on. In this face, that would look incredible so you can take them here i still gotta like fluff them up but like you know you get the idea look at that kind of like moody maroon color that's beautiful one two three like a pack of six also have this we can just guess what's in here um this is oh, <gasps> it arrived broken <gasps> No, it arrived broken. I'm gonna have to contact them. Okay, this one's not broken. Um, so I ordered a pack of four mugs. Aren't these beautiful? It's ribbed glass, which I love ribbed glass. It's very elegant. I love the way that like, you know, the light reflects off of it. So this is actually a mug set. So it comes with that. And it also comes with this like uh, coaster slash lid. So like a little coaster but it could also be like a lid and maybe keep things warmer a little bit longer it even comes with these little tiny little spoons like mixing spoons get yourself some starbucks put it in this mug and you're on your way okay so i actually have an appointment so i gotta go but i'll be back in a second okay I'm back. We have ourselves a decorative candle snuffer. So this is pretty nifty. It's like a black color almost, maybe dark gray, dark brown. Designed and crafted using traditional blacksmith art form. And it feels kind of heavy. So it feels like a good quality snuffer. This is neat. So this is a brass. I don't know if it's real brass, but it's like a brass tone uh, candle holder. It comes in a pack of three. These are sleek, these are minimal, modern, just perfect for creating a simple tablescape or you know, bringing in some interest to any decorative vignette. I also have a candlestick problem. I'm very excited for this. So these are, um, it's a new set of silverware. I was, I really need some new silverware and I'm just looking for something um, in like a, like a stainless, not stainless, what is it? Yeah, like a stainless steel color. These are good for like the everyday use. These have a really nice like weight to them. So this is the fork. These, I'm, I'm really particular about spoons. I don't like them to be too like wide or too narrow. I feel like these are perfect. Making it a really elegant silverware set. So this one has um, two handles on there, as you can see. Isn't that beautiful? Love the color on there. Microwave and dishwasher safe. So, I mean, yes, of course this is good for, you know, dining and stuff, but also good, like a decorative piece, like on a shelf. What are your thoughts on this? Do we love it? Why not? Why not? Why not? On cue we have, I think this is pretty. I love sort of like colored glassware. This one is a charcoal colored glass ribbed face. And I think it's wonderful. I I had one like this that was like a dark brown that I had gotten from Target last year, maybe the year before, and it broke. A little bit on the smaller side, I would say. Maybe it's eight inches tall, I'm not sure. Okay, that's enough. Oh, it's really windy. Okay, so we have some fall leaves. I like the real deal, but if I can find a really good quality, like faux branch, I'll try it out. It almost looks real. Wow. Let's take, I like to fluff up the stems here to create a more full look. And then I bent the bottom to put on the base.
So this comes in a pack of six, so six stems. And I like the color. It's kind of like a, um, like a burnt orange. Lovely indeed. Okay, we have, so next up we have another book. I've been wanting to get this book for a while. It works that it came out not too long ago, I think. But this design style is up my alley. If you like sort of kind of rustic modern or maybe some mid-century, I don't know how about rustic, but kind of mid-century um, traditional design style, just simple, clean lines um, with a, maybe a little bit of traditional elements here and there. This would be a good book. I mean, I haven't really gone through it yet, but from what I can see already, like lots of wonderful interiors. Look at that, like, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? The um, wallpaper, I'm not a big wallpaper person, but I really appreciate wallpaper though. From a decorative standpoint, also a great decorative book. If you're looking for another book for your coffee table, another, it's like it's like linen. It's not probably not linen, but it's like a fabric. This, so these are stems, buds, I think. They look realistic. Probably bend them though to give them more realistic. So I heard some of these. Again, I'm gonna create like an arrangement with this and some of the other stuff. These were really affordable. I think they were like under $5 at the time of ordering. I don't know how much they are now or if they're available. Again, I will link everything in the description box. Go check out my Amazon storefront too. Okay, this one is a must have. There's some styrofoam and I gotta clean off. Probably handmade. If you're like into organic modern or just pieces that kind of have some, not necessarily, well, not necessarily history, but just have like an, a handmade quality to them or just feel unique. This one is definitely a must have. Terracotta. If you don't like the color, you could potentially paint it, but I think this is a beautiful color. Very earthy organic. No branches necessary. I think that looks great as is or with branches too. I always have branches on hand. Okay, got two more boxes. More dried florals. These are like, I don't know what they're called. That's neat. I like that the stems are longer because sometimes I want to be able to like vary the heights and sometimes when they're too short, it doesn't give me a lot of uh, room for cutting. So I appreciate the length of these. Oh yes. I'm not so sure about the pillow insert. It's looking a little cheap. I don't know, but I might just use the one that I already have and use this cover. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Texture. Ooh texture though. I could probably do without the tassels, honestly. I don't know, we'll see if maybe I'll cut them off. We have ourselves a duck, quack quack. This is a fun little art piece. Um, it's like on um, MDF board. It's a pretty good size too. Like they also had, um, it's like they also have two more paintings that kind of go with this. There's like a swan, I think, and some other bird. That's fun. Oh wait. Before I forget, this is a book that was sent to me by the publisher. So this is from Sarah Rose Inch, Modern Homemaker. This is the book. Um, it's a new book that is all about just home decor, kind of pri providing lots of tips. Um, it kind of breaks things down by room and lots of just wonderful ideas, lots of beautiful aesthetic photos, floral arrangements. I love making floral arrangements. That's pretty nifty. It's kind of like a wholesome, everything about homemaking and things like that. So thanks again to um, to them for sending this over. Oh, you know what's funny? So I was on Instagram or TikTok, maybe I saw yesterday. I don't know, remember when, but if you were to be stuck in a store for 48 hours, which one would it be? Number one, Costco. Number two, Walmart. Number three, Target. Four, Ikea. Now my first thought was Target. I think they got everything there, right? But the food, like it's, I mean, they got food, groceries and stuff. Well, sometimes they have a Starbucks in there. Costco, maybe too industrial, Walmart. But I think I would go for Ikea, even though there's a lot of hiding spots there and like kind of freaks me out sometimes. Like what if the killer is hiding somewhere? But I would probably choose Ikea. They got everything there. I could spend hours there. Got food, got bathroom, towels. I can take a shower. They got veggie hot dogs too, which are pretty good.